Hello guys, this is Salam Junit and welcome to another Samnos for video and we finally have news of the new collab which is gonna be Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. I have been playing this game for a long long time. Not playing. Played the game <laughs> for a long long time ago when it when I was in school. Where like that was 10 years back. Is it 10 years? Could be 10 years, I don't remember now. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. I haven't played the new Assassin's Creed games. I think the latest, latest one I played was Odyssey. Uh, it didn't live up to the hype of the old Assassin's Creed games. Those who played the Assassin's Creed games, the old ones, not the new ones, you can type in the comment section below and tell me what is your favorite game. And I am so happy that Comptos finally made a good collab. Not not finally. I did like the Street Fighter collab too, but the, the Cookie Run Kingdom wasn't. To be honest, I didn't like the design of the units, but this one is dope. is <laughs> so dope. So let's see what they're going to be doing in this collab. What are the new things coming? Okay. Greetings from Samurai's World Dev Team. It's been a while since the last dev note. This time we'll tell you about the collaboration update you're all super excited the assassin's creed collaboration we prepared a collaboration between assassin's creed one of the most popular video games in the world to provide more fun content in some of those i hope that they make a collaboration from an anime uh most probably fairy tale which may be my favorite <laughs> it doesn't have to be fairy tale it can be anything like one piece uh demon slayer what's the new one that's been uh very successful recently what was the name not successful i forgot the name of that anime oh uh, okay never mind I, let's just leave it that thanks to all the support the interest you have shown to Zamno's war uh, sorry thanks to all the support interest oh sorry uh, okay okay got it to the support you've shown for Samurai's War X, uh, Assassin's Creed collaboration, the Red Team promises that we will be another. This will be another successful co collaboration. Before diving into the dev note, please check out the video we have prepared below. Yeah, I watched the video already. So if you guys want to watch the video, you can click the vi uh, link there. They'll show you what the thoughts went through when uh, the design in the units, the skill of the units. So you can check that if you want. So here. The Templars are infiltrating the oh sorry. The Templars are infiltrating the Sky Arena on February 20th. The, for, for those who don't know who the Templars is, just play the game. It's from the law of that game. Basically, they're the enemies of the uh, Assassin Brotherhood. <laughs> let's just let's just uh, say that. Now you team up with the assassins from the Assassin headquarters that appeared on the Sky Island to fight against the Templars. Are you ready to defeat the Templars and protect your our Sky Island with the Assassins from the Assassin Brotherhood? We are about to introduce. Assassin's Creed is a stealth or they this this is their describing the Assassin's Creed game. Uh, I'm just gonna skip that. Uh, we selected Ezio, oh, sorry, Altair, Ezio, Cassandra, Bike, Eivor that appeared from the Assassin's Creed Revelations, Origins. Or Odyssey, Valhalla. Okay, so I think uh, Bayek is from Origins, right? For those who played the games, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Bayek is from Origins. Cassandra is definitely from Odyssey, was the latest one I played. Valhalla is the new guy, Eivor, which I haven't played. But to be honest, the game is not that good, in my opinion. Revelations is the Ezio one and Altair is the original Assassin's Creed one. Also, there is, I think, Brotherhood. That is also a great game, which Ezio and I think Altair, oh, sorry, even Altair is in that one, but like in a different timeline. For those who want to check it out, you can go <laughs> play the game. Like the previous collaboration, Assassin's Creed collab units have, uh, the, yeah, they are only the awakened types, like the previous collaboration. These are net 4 and net 5 monsters in each attribute. For example, Fire, Wind, Water, Light is your common 5 star, while Wind, Darkness is your comes in 4 star. Oh, okay. So, this is like, uh, you could say, uh, 
the Triana family, what's that name? Half magicians are the five in water, half magicians are four stars. The light and dark one are five stars. It's technically something like that. As the selected characters for the protagonist of each Assassin's Creed series, we decided to design the collab monsters as both four star and five star instead of picking one to design as a net five. With this, you can utilize the collab monsters in various content in the game. Now we will get part we will get to the part is everyone curious about the skill collab monsters let's look at the skills okay so there are more units than this they're just teasing you with each like random element from each family except for the light one altair which i'll go get into later uh the rest of the units will have like every other element except for altair maybe okay i'm not pretty sure because in the uh I'll just gonna say it. Elta is a free LD5. This guy is the first one is free. I think it says a little bit downwards, but the this guy is free. So in the last two collapse, the free unit doesn't have other elements. Like in the first one, Ken doesn't have a uh, water Ken, wind Ken. It's only fire. Then the cookie one, the lollipop warrior. Uh, the lollipop warrior is the someone who's warning. What is the Cookie, ah, oh yeah, ginger brave. Ginger brave is only wind. There is no other elements of ginger brave in ginger brave. So something like that. I think they're gonna do the same here. So Altair will be the only light unit from that family. I don't think there will be any other element of light Altair. If they are continue the trend, let's see the skills. Strike of the Assassin Brotherhood. Attack the enemy to inflict damage that ignores all damage reduction effects. This is same as uh, the snipers. Sniper skill one is the same as this. They ignore defense buff. They ignore shield. They ignore invincibility. Just kind of nice as a skill one. Skill two, distraction. Grants the threat state. Oh, another monster with threat state. And this time it's going to be a free to play one because everyone's going to get this unit. So it's going to be a free to play one. Free to play threat state. Enemies excluding the boss can only tar target the target under the threat state with attack skills while enemies attack with a single target. Yeah, okay, okay, with two turns. What's the Ophelia's threat? Uh, Ophelia is three turns, right? But Ophelia is a th uh, third skill is the threat state. It's a higher cooldown. Also, it gives shield and immunity now. It, it used to give shield before. Immunity is the new buff recently, I think. Hidden Blade, the third skill, attack the enemy with Hidden Blade, Assassination Blade. If you don't get attacked during the turn of the enemy, the damage of Hidden Blade increases by 25%, up to 100%. The amount increased damage will reset when you use the skill. Oh, okay. So we have to see the multiplier and how much damage it does when it comes out. Let's see Fire Ezio. Is you okay? The design is hmm, okay. I won't say Altair design is pretty cool. Is not gonna lie. Fire. I think Ezio more represents. I think the dark one matches color scheme more than the fire one. Anyways, Strike of the Brotherhood. Oh, it's the same as Ezio. It's the same skill. Yeah, it's literally the same skill. You know, the skill name is same. <laughs> okay, the second one is second skill. Attack the enemy two times to decrease defense with the 80% chance. And attack bar by 50% with the 30% chance. I think this will go up by skill ups. There should be a skill up that increase the harmful effect rate. Okay, the third skill is a passive. Inflicts damage that ignores defense in proportion to the enemy's last HP. I at least 30% up to 100% when you attack on your turn. Ooh. This. Wait. Every skill is ignore defense because this is a passive. And there's a defense break in skill 2 which means more damage, more chance to ignore defense. Okay. We have to test this. Uh, sorry. We have to test this again. Uh, the damage when it comes out um, most, but Ezio is not free unfortunately you have to summon for him as a net 5 most probably I won't get him because my luck is shit so for those who 
who get him you can tell me how good he is when he comes out bike bike is also on net 5 the dark one is definitely in net 5 okay this is a, this one has a different skill one upward slash attack the enemy to disturb the hp recovery for two turns okay there's 70% chance conservative slash attack the enemy two times to remove one benefit effect and silence them to two turns with a 75% chance and this goes up to max hp scaling okay third skill is again a passive an eagle attacks a rain and enemy to stun the target for one turn when you attack on your turn okay so both skill 1 and skill 2 will have a stun chance and i think the skill 2 strip yeah remove one beneficial effect so this is you can strip stun from the skill 2 like uh miles the water sniper no, not sniper surfer what a snuffer snuffer <laughs> what a surfer I, i swear to god guys i i know english <laughs> what a surfer miles is a similar skill not exactly the same so yeah something like that cassandra first skill burash attack the enemy to decrease attack power by 30% for a 50% chance second skill vision of athena decrease the defense of all enemies for two turns the 60% chance third skill fire strike attack the enemy three times to leave a branding effect for three turns each additionally the attack will always land as a critical hit and deals 100% damage if the target's attribute is wind Oh, you can set your skill uh set your cell I mean set your skill 3 by the skill 2 itself but that depends on the violent proc because this skill doesn't give the second skill doesn't give a uh, instant turn so you have to delay and violent proc or you could uh use the uh, konamia or tion like speed tune them like uh right to go after cassandra so cassandra can defense break from skill 2 the kona or the tion will boost the cassandra with attack buff then you skill 3 there's no nice combo to do here and it will always land as a critical hit so you don't have to worry about crit rate you can go with fast crit damage and attack and this will always do bonus damage on wind and which means she is a water unit but wind units can't uh, glance Uh, because there's a granted crit chance with bonus damage which is not nice which uh these at nuka would say okay then last one ao vengeance of thor attack the enemy two times to decrease defense no oh, attack two times to decrease defense for two turns with a 20% chance well that is so low i hope this, this goes up to at least 50% with skill ups throwing axe fury the attack an enemy three times to inflict continuous damage for two turns at a 50% chance each okay rage of helheim attack the enemy three times to inflict continuous damage for one turn attack the enemy once more to explode the continuous damage grant uh, on the target additional dealing con- uh, the corresponding this is like the fire pixie skill 3 but this is single target Ah, uh, it's not that amazing. He found Aino's Rage of Hellheim the most interesting. I just said that it's not interesting, and this guy is saying, "Ah, uh, it's the most interesting." Okay, compared to how the skill could inflict more attacks by spamming the button, Rage of Hellheim has been transformed to skill that inflicts uh, four continuous attacks and continuous damage to fit in the turn base. battle system of summoners for you also find the skill effect animations appealing try to compare the difference between the skill animation present in both games and witness how the skill animation could have been expressed in summoners or style even if you don't get the units you can now the you can preview the skills now which is nice so if even if you're unlucky to get especially the ld net files you can still check the skill preview i mean the skill animations from the skill preview which is kind of nice now please look forward to the full skills of the monster and different attributes. see i told you they are going to be releasing other attributes is yeah uh, i already knew that we, i think it said before even ezio has many elements so it's not a surprise in addition to collab units various types of content will can enjoy it with the collaboration will be added okay exclusive content event dungeon oh Okay, we created a unique way. This is like the dragon 
during the Kyoki run one, there was no event dungeon for Street Fighter, right? I don't, I don't remember now. I don't remember there was a collab dungeon for Street Fighter, but there was one definitely for the Cookie Run. It was that uh, dragon one, Violet Dragon. Not Violet. What was the name of the dragon? I don't remember now. <laughs> Let's just leave it there. The concept of the event dungeon is uh, working together to find the Templars hiding in the virtuous place called Animus. Oh, they brought Animus into this too. By clearing each stage, connect to the square-shaped blocks until you reach the boss stage. You can select random effects upon clearing each stage. A reward helps you out in battles. Then let's talk about the details of the event dungeon. I see the boss is the last one, which is the number three there. So you start at one. There's some plus signs. I don't know what the other signs are. Okay, this is the map of the screen. Number one is the starting point. Yeah, I just said that. Two means battle stages. Oh, yeah, battle stages. Each stage has unit effects. More details of the battle stages can be found in the below. Okay. Boss stage is the number three. Uh, boss, the stage boss, sorry, a uh, stage is the boss of the corresponding difficulty. You can proceed to the next difficulty upon clearing the boss. Three difficulties, normal hard health. At first, you begin normal, reach hard, and hell. Okay. You will proceed to the next difficulty by clearing the last stage of each difficulty. Not only that, the event dungeon has buff effects, but also has special rules. The final goal of the event dungeon is to use these effects to clear the boss of the hell difficulty. Now, we will walk through the effects and rules of the dungeon. Mm. Select an assassin on the brotherhood to team up. Okay. Oh, Cassandra Fire is... Oh, no, 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 it's... Everyone is 6-star max. I was thinking Cassandra Fire is a 5-net 5, then I realized it's... Everyone is just 6-star max. <laughs> okay, anyways, you can select one of the four collab monsters upon your first entry to the event dungeon to use the... Okay. With Proy Monster comes with 6-star fully. Okay, 6-star fully skilled up with runes and artifacts, Okay. You can ready to enter the dungeon right away. However, they can be used in the event dungeon. It cannot be you. You can change the okay. One collab monster will be provided per difficulty. All right, up to three collab monsters. We implement this feature of summoners where we need more monsters to use to create various strategies. Okay, remember that this doesn't mean you must use prior monster in battles. We want to try out different team compositions. Restriction on defeated monsters. Monsters that are defeated by the time of clearing the event dungeon can be used again in battles in the corresponding week. Oh. Monsters that are defeated by the time of clearing the event dungeon can be used again. Ah. Oh. Because of this, you must be, try to keep your monsters alive at the time of clearing the battle. <laughs> Don't worry, there's a special stage you can use to revive a monster. Okay. <laughs> Let's learn about the special kind of stages. Okay. The number one. Did you notice the... Yeah, I noticed the pattern already. Each pattern has four. Okay, number one is normal. Okay, monsters from Samrazo appear in three waves. Two is elite. Okay, more powerful monsters will appear. Three is revival. Oh, the the plus side is the revival. You can revive a defeated monster. Only one defeated monster. Okay, the, the number four is the boss. Okay, you guys have to be really careful here. So you must bring... Uh, I think you you can still revive, like you can bring, a, bring an Eladriel and still revive the monster during the battle itself. I think after clearing, if it's still dead, you can't use it unless you revive it in the revive stage here. I think that's how it should work. So don't worry, you can bring revivers just to be safe. You can predict the type of stage by engrave pattern and try to use the most optimal path. You can obtain special rewards called loot, including basic rewards by winning a battle in all stages In besides the revival stage. At this time, we will, we will tell you what kind of effects you can receive from loot. Special effects are granted upon loot. Each stage, we mentioned that you can select an effects for as clear reward when you enter the event dungeon. After clearing each stage, you can obtain, obtain loot and gain and effects. Okay. Okay, warrior shield increased defense by 20. Elixir of Crow grants immunity on the Assassin Brotherhood for two turns. 
sharp edge increase grit rate oh okay okay as you can see the load selection appears of the one below okay there are different three different randoms you can select any one of them load screen special effects enhancing your monsters giving special abilities the effects of load screen remain if you proceed the next difficulty however there is the event dungeon resets every week please note that the effects of the load will also okay so this is per week so it resets every week okay that's nice let's take a sneak peek of the effects of the loads okay i think this is uh some of i don't know if this is all this might be all or some increases attack power by n plus i mean n means uh, any number increase the hp against immunity which we saw that against attack power and all all analyzed by n there are two or more assassins brotherhood when the battle begins and attack speed decreasing effect Decreases the max cooldown all eyes by in turn. Okay. Oh, there are total oh, 77 effects. Oh, oh, okay, okay. This is definitely some. <laughs> okay, the higher the difficulty, the better the effect of loads become. Okay, if you want to get better loads, try it for clear elite stage. This time, we'll introduce the boss monsters of the event dungeon. Boss monster of the event dungeon. The attribute boss from the Templars differs by difficulty. The attributes change regularly to the weekly dungeon reset. We will review one of the three attributes. Okay. Legion Command of Judgment. Is this guy in any Assassin's Creed game? I don't remember though. Don't remember. He might be if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. And these are his skills. Okay. The first skill. Attack the enemy. Decrease. Sorry, attacks the enemy to inflict damage, it ignores enemy defense, raises the shield to take the defensive stance of the attack. Defensive stance, okay, it's a passive later, we'll see that. Attack all enemies to decrease their defense for two turns, raises the sword to take the offensive stance. Offensive stance is increase the boss attack power by 100% during the offensive stance. Upon defeating enemy, increases attack power. Increase the power of relic automatic effect. Okay, this is the another passive defensive stance is increase the boss defense by hundred percent. If the boss if the damage the boss received from the enemy is five percent or lower, then the box max HP again again increase the power of relic. Okay, attack all enemies to inflict damage. Okay, power relic attack uh, all enemies to inflict damage ignores. Ignores all damage reduction effects. Okay. At 10 stacks. Okay. Afterwards, the power of the relic will reset. All right. All right. Revenue Legion Commander comes with three powerful skills. As a Legion uh, Command of Judgment, we play max damage up to 10 st power stacks. Make sure to defeat it before it gains on the stacks. You can prevent Legion Command Dungeon by gaining the power of relic by utilizing both offense and defense. Try to come up with balanced in composition. There is an astonishing animation to see in the boss battles of the event dungeon. It highlights the Assassin's Creed. Oh, an assassination scene. Oh, okay, okay. If you have a collab monster in your party, you will see the special animation. Okay, all right. Which means that everyone will have a different animation. Bike has a different animation. Ezio has a different animation. Oh, all of them could have the same animation. I don't know. We will see when it comes. As in each collab monster has its own. An oh, it's there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> It's in the it's written in the next paragraph. As each collab monster is on assassin skill, try try checking out all of the animation scenes. Okay, okay. You can also check the assassin screen provided at the beginning of the event dungeon. Oh, okay. Last but not least, let's go over the event dungeon rewards. You can obtain different rewards. Okay, upon the difficulty, Cordae is fifteen thousand mana. Hell, weekly special reward, okay. Okay, weekly special reward is below, but Cordis, I think, is the currency for the event. Like, we had blueberry jelly beans. Not blueberry jelly, blue jelly beans for Cookie Dungeon. Did we, did we have anything for Street Fighter? I don't remember. It was a long time ago now, the Street Fighter one. We can op obtain weekly, okay, this is the if you clear Hell. Week 1 is 250 crystals, week 2 is devil mod, week 3 is splendid summoning, splendid blessing, oh that is the, uh, is this the net 5, I think splendid is the net 5 one, right, yeah, net 5, blessing 6 star rune, legend, 
Uh, for those who don't know, there's also, there's also a four-star blessing. It's just Comptas doesn't give, actually. I don't think they give it unless there's an event or something. Even even events, they give it really rarely. I think uh, the four-star blessing is there for the newer players. Six-star legend rune, fig four, fig five, they see immobile grind legend. Okay, immobile gem legend. Fig seven, reap. Fig eight, there's LD and all attribute. Oh, sorry, not all attribute. Attribute type random artifact legend. Okay. Besides the color report, there's weekly. There's a new event currency called Codex. Okay. I just said that before. Collect Codex and exchange for various rewards from the event page. Okay. We hope you defeat all the Templars and claim all these amazing rewards. We'll give the details of the Codex shortly. They call it Devenge and Refresh every week. It will begin on Monday and end on Sunday of every week. Okay. So this collab will start at February 28, which is five days from now, from the time I'm from the time I'm recording. So you can see the timeline for each week here. That's about it for the world structure rewards of the event dungeon. And we hope you look forward to the event dungeon. And we are not done yet. We got more exclusive content for you to enjoy. Assassin headquarters building. Oh, this is like the that there was a balloon here, right? balloon here uh, for some event there was a balloon i don't remember she lent for cookie and there was no something like this right i don't remember definitely there was a balloon giving like weekly rewards or daily rewards for an event i don't remember now which event it was so yeah it's same thing like this that says in headquarters your doc and you can clear repetitive missions yeah rewards yes yeah, basically the same thing you have to clear weekly or daily rewards, uh, daily missions to get rewards. I think Codex is that uh, blueprint paper thing, brown color paper thing below the energy ones. Could be. Three Codex. Yeah, it is. It is it's literally, when I say something, it's literally in the next paragraph. <laughs> Three Codex will provide it with a fixed reward for compensation or completion rewards. You can receive bonus mana energy crystals. Okay. Collect codices and exchange them for various items on the event page. Okay. Other collab exclusive. Assassin's Creed collab mode will appear in TOA. Okay. Starting from 14th March, but not from February. It's in the next rotation, which is in the March rotation. Onwards, there will be collab monsters for every 10th floor pass. Okay. Make sure you challenge the TOA as you obtain Assassin's Creed scroll by clearing the 50th stage. Okay, the collab corner applied on the 14th of March to 14th of April. Master X will appear as a rival. Yeah, okay, okay. Master X is back. Let's see. Master X is, I think he came in the cookie run also. He used cookie run monsters. It's basically like the rivals NPC. It's pretty easy. You don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> oh, chat emojis, knee emojis. Okay, chat emojis from SEO will be provided. Celebrate the collab update. Six SEO emojis. Okay, now we'll walk through the collab period. How to open collab monsters. Collab period is from 28th of February to May 1st. Okay, that's like a long time. As the collaboration update will go on all servers, the original monsters will be added. Okay. The, for those who don't know, I think everyone knows this. China can't have the collab monsters they could, because they I don't know, some licensing issues or something. I don't remember exactly the details. They won't get any collab monsters. Instead, they'll get the Samurazoa version. Like in the Street Fighter, they won't have Ken, Ryu, Bison. Instead, they'll have Slayer, Striker, the Blade Dancer. And then the collab, in the last collab, the Cookie Run, they had Menon. Man and Adelie saw something, the pudding and the, what's the Manon's normal name? I don't, I don't know, Macaroni, yeah, Macaron Guard, Macaron Guard, cook that chocolate cookie night. It's the original Samono's version will be there. But we will be able to summon the original Samono's version after May, end of the May, okay. Not exactly after May, first end of May. We'll notify you the details if the changes to the collab period. Okay, how to acquire? You can summon collab monsters in the collab period. 
Once they collaborate us over, you can understand someone through them collaboration scrolls. Someone collaboration uh, monsters during the collab period can be used permanently. Okay, okay. How to summon? You can summon uh, collab monsters fixed chance of all scrolls. You can summon uh, four to five. Uh, we also let can summon net four to five. Okay, summon in stones. Legend is summon stones. Fix list of monsters available. Summon excluded. Assassin's Creed scroll. We will come back to later. Crystal summon. Mystical summon. Guild summon. Attribute summon. LD summon. Legendary summon. Legendary attribute. Legendary all attribute. Transcendence. Ancient transcendence. Ancient transcendence. Eight year transcendence scroll. SWC twenty twenty. Who still have SWC 2020 scrolls? <laughs> my, my God, my God, 21, 22. Who saves this much? 2020 was like three years ago. <laughs> three, three years ago. Seven years scroll. Seven years the last year collab scrolls. Not collab, anniversary scroll. Friendship scroll. Assassin scroll can only summon a collab monster. Like the cookie, we had a separate one for... Street Fighter also we had a separate one. So for Assassin's Creed we also have a separate scroll. We can summon only the collab monsters only. Uh, it is all attribute fire, water, wind, light, dark. Everyone can be summoned. And this is what I said before. Altair cannot be obtained because uh, he is free. I think it will be said be a little bit later in down below. We shall not special event collaborations are coming. That is when events open exclusive, uh, exclusive in monster placing building. There are no costumes, emojis. Collab monsters cannot be used in this uh, siege season, unfortunately. You please note that you can use the collab monsters excluding the siege season. So, okay, we cannot use this siege season. I think we, there's no mention of RTA, so I think we can use them in RTA. That's it for this uh, collab talk. Yeah, that's about it mostly. Wait, where they said they give Ezio for free. Not Ezio, Altia for free. Oh, it's written there. Altia can be obtained from the collab payment. Which can be sent. Okay, it's written there. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you guys got information out of it. For those who are lazy to read it, I read it for you. I know I read it kind of fast. You can pause and read it for yourself. Or you can just get in the game and read it for yourself. Can't wait for this to come out. Unfortunately, I did summon scrolls like two days before the announcement came. So I literally have no scrolls now. But good thing is I got two net, two new Nat 5s. Don't worry, guys. It's nothing really crazy. I just got like a Rocky and a Laika, which is new for me. But so I don't have much scrolls now. But when the uh, collab uh, comes out, there will be events for you to give more scrolls. And new packs will come out of ex uh, uh, like obviously, you know, packs will come out for the ways to buy, but I'm not gonna be like that. I'm just gonna buy uh, someone from the scrolls, but at least I'm gonna get a feel, feel free alt here. That's more than enough for me. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.